my friends, my name is Lane, I'm an illustrator and merch designer, and in today's video, we are going to be designing some coffee cows. I started off with the rough sketches in my sketchbook, which you can see sort of faintly in the background, but I decided to do a second pass of the sketches digitally just to really nail down the concepts. Now obviously I did not get anywhere near doing every single type of coffee, but I picked um, some of my favorites as well as some of the more well-known ones. I also wanted to get as much color variety as I could, being that they're all kind of brown based. Um, I really tried to make sure I got the range from sort of black, dark brown to a lighter sort of latte color. I also decided to nail down the colors in this one for that reason. Not only did I try to represent the coffees as the cows, I made sure they had an actual physical drink with them, just so you know more what <laughs> drink each one is supposed to be. Tried to do a variety of cow color patterns, and now it's time to start on the first one. This is the latte cow. Next to only like frappes, frappuccinos, lattes are my favorite coffee drink by far. I have a little espresso machine and I make myself lattes all the time. I personally really like sweet lattes. I kind of treat it similar to a frappuccino in that I add lots of caramel and stuff, so I made sure to include that aspect on this guy. Sweet caramel lattes are absolutely my go-to. I also really wanted to represent that kind of gradient between the milk and the espresso interacting in both the drink as well as the cow itself. So that was my main priority when coloring this one. I gave them like a little caramel heart on their forehead to indicate that this is one of my favorites. And I think design wise out of all of them, this is my favorite as well. <laughs> that all being said, here is the final latte cow. Next we have a classic, a standard. This is the black coffee cow. This is when you make your standard American coffee and you just don't add anything or much to it. I know this one is pretty divisive. Most people, I would say, don't like black coffee. They usually add like milk or sugar or whatever. But I thought it was still a good addition. It adds a lot of contrast um, in the overall cow lineup since it's so dark colored. That being said, this one was pretty easy design and color wise since it is such a basic one note drink. I decided to add some spots to the nose and to the fur just to add a little bit of intrigue. I also added a gradient to the smoke coming out of the cup for the same reason. And uh, yeah, the black coffee cow is done. Let's take a look at the final. I really like how simple this one is. Then I decided to do a cappuccino cow. I don't know about you, but I kind of lose the differences between drinks such as cappuccino and latte. Cappuccinos are, as far as I understand at least, kind of like a smaller latte. Lattes have a lot of milk, but with cappuccinos there is equal parts espresso and milk, so probably half the milk quantity. For the coloring of this guy, I decided to go with kind of a medium brown, since this one is also espresso and milk. This is the one where I decided to do the kind of heart latte art on him. And then I made sure this one had a tiny little cappuccino cup. He's just so goofy looking. And this one is also done. But the more voiceover I do, the more I just crave coffee. <laughs> Up next is my actual favorite by far. This is the Frappuccino or Frappe Cow. Apparently Frappuccino is like a trademarked term from Starbucks, which I did not know. So formally, this is the Frappe Cow. Now, I know I could have went pretty much any direction with the colors on this, since frappuccinos usually have the most flavor variety, but I thought it would be weird if that was the only one who was not brown, so I decided to go with my favorite, again, a caramel-flavored frappe. I feel like it is similar to the latte design, but different enough to still be interesting. And like I mentioned then, I love mine loaded with caramel, so I made sure to include that here. I have mastered making lattes at home, but frappes, they entirely elude me because there's just so much involved in those. Maybe one day, but this one is now done. And here is the final. Second to last, we have an Americano. This one is kind of similar to coffee in that there's water involved. 
It is essentially an espresso shot diluted with water. So this one tends to be very dark. And sometimes, but not always, there is a decent amount of foam on top, so I included that here just to make it a little different from the black coffee. And in that version of the drink, there is a lot of contrast between the coffee and the foam. So for the coloring on this, I decided to make it a little bit like a normal standard black and white cow, but with that base fur color being a little more brown like the foam. I think as far as the colors, this one is by far my favorite. I think the contrast worked really well. I, I really like how it looks like the normal plain black and white cows. I feel like those guys have gotten a bit overshadowed in the kind of art scene the last few years with things like strawberry cows and such. I also gave him a little blush. <laughs> but here is the final. He kind of reminds me of a Webkins. Last but absolutely not least is the one and only Espresso Cow. As you can imagine compared to the other coffee types, this guy is the baby of the group. It's a bit easier to tell in the group cow drawing, which you will see in a little bit. But this guy is so teeny tiny compared to the others. He's just a little baby. Similar to the black coffee, the coloring on this was very fun. Obviously, this is a pretty dark, rich design. I made sure to include the color variation at the top of the espresso, which is kind of foamy, just to add a little bit of, well, variation. This one was quick and easy and also is now done. He's such a baby. But here are all of the cows together. I think they look so good as a group. I'm really happy with how they all turned out together. Let me know which is your favorite down in the comments, both art-wise and to consume yourself. I know this was a very short video this week, but I've kind of just been at negative spoons, kind of not in the best mental space for the past week. So I'm happy to have gotten anything out, to be honest. Um, thank you guys for watching. I hope this was entertaining, even though short. I have two conventions coming up this month, Tidewater and Animacement, so expect some convention content later this month and in June. Thank you so much for watching!